Hello, this is Jeff Byers, and we're continuing with the uh, high poly modeling of the dice. And we're going to go ahead and uh, UV map this real quick. Fairly simple. Um, you can go into uh, select the object, go into create UVs, go into automatic mapping, and go into reset settings, and then project. Click off, go back into selection mode, object mode, go to window, go to UV texture editor. Okay, we have something that looks like this. Okay, a lot of times we'll have to go in here and co show you a couple things. This is uh, texture on and texture off. Okay, so we'll turn that off. And we can actually click on this so we can see the UVs. It's a little easier. Okay, we can turn that off and on. You can turn on texture borders so you can see them a little bit better. So you can see your texture borders right now, your seams. Those are your all your seams that you have. Turn that off. Okay, I'm gonna look through my front face. So I'm gonna go click on this and click on the front face. So you can see that's the front. I'm gonna start with the X. I'm gonna go, go to UV, select the UVs, right click, go to select and select shell. And I can actually move this out if I want to. I can leave that where it is. I'm going to UVs. Okay, so we're just going to move these in and out. I'm going to hit the G key. Or I can go back to select, select shell. You can also go into here, select and select shell up there. Alright, so we can move those out. I can just select a couple of UVs and the G key and move those around. The G key will re-invoke, just hitting the G key. Okay. So this is the front. Now I want to do the sides. Let's find out where the, the sides are, so I'm going to click on the object here, and click on face, click on the face. Now I'm going to make sure that my high poly is out of the way. So let's go ahead, select the object, and get that out of the way. There we go. Okay. All right. Now they got everything in layers. A bit easier for me to select the faces. I'm gonna select the faces. Alright, so if I'm looking this way, let's move that face over here. Look to the UVs and bring it over here. And I'm guessing this face is on this side. That's the bottom, looks like. Let's bring those UVs up here. Okay, let's bring that over here. And, uh, it looks like it's the back. Let's find the top. It's the top. Put that down here. Shell, select shell. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and merge and sew these UVs. Let's select the uh, UV and shift select the edge along here. So we want to move and sew those. The icon is right here. This is uh, move and sew UVs. You can also go to polygons and go to move and sew UV edges. Click on that. And do this for the rest of them. Select the edges. Hold down the shift key. And hit the G key. Okay. 
Looks like this one's rotated. So let's go ahead and uh, select these UVs. And rotate this way. Look for the edge. And move and sew. And click on this icon right here. So you can rotate UVs like I showed you. If you want to rotate them, if they kind of messed up, you can just rotate them around here with this. You can flip UVs right over here. You can move and sew right here. Alright, so now we've got those uh, sewed together. Let's select everything. And let's go ahead and scale that down. Always scale uniformly. Do not scale this way. That'll stretch UVs. Do not scale this way. That'll stretch UVs. Uniformly scale in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and move it. Hit the W key. Again, you can move, rotate by hitting the W, E, R keys. I think they look pretty good. They're within UV space. Okay. Scale them just a little bit bigger. Let's make sure that they're within the UV space here. That looks good. That looks good. Alright, let's right click over here and go to select. It's really important that we go into selection of the object before we uh, do a snapshot of this UV. We're going to go ahead and save this out so we can use it in Photoshop. Go to Polygons, UV Snapshot. Make sure that you have your um, resolution set up. So set up to 2048 and use Targa as your image format. The rest of it is defaulted correctly. Go into your browse, make sure you're outputting in the right area. And let's call this dice texture UV and I'm going to do underscore new and click on save. Alright and then click OK. And this will save this UV, so you can bring it into Photoshop and place your texture on top of that. Add your normal map, ambient occlusion, and whatever um, other maps you would like to use. Okay, that's it for UV mapping of the high polygon or the low polygon dice.